one. We have done it. Congratulations to the Gillette Temple Red Hawks and Red Hawk Nation. You are the 2011-2012 sectional champions and have punched your ticket to the state tournament. Where you can foul right away, maybe Here. work some time off the clock. Hard because he might be going up for the shot. Here's the shot, partially blocked, and that'll do it. Yankee had the look, but it was partially blocked, and GET is moving on to the Division Three Championship. Winning championships is easier than keeping them. Coming off two consecutive Cooley Conference championships and losing two starters from last year's team, the Red Hawks had to find replacements. They found them with Chris Johnson, Blake Lara, Kevin Lakey, and Marcus Wynn. They joined starters Riley Bamanak, Mitch Dorr, and Buckets Wagner to create what some might say is one of the best teams GET has ever had. Also playing a big role for the Red Hawks this year was backup post player Chandler the Beast Lemke. All is tipped. Tim Star, all those years, no one knows just how hard you work, but now it shows that one shining moment you reach deep inside. In one shining moment, you knew you were alive. Feel the beat of your heart. The wind in your face It's more than a contest It's more than a race It's your best Cause inside you knew That one shining moment You reached for the sky One shining moment You knew One shining moment You really didn't try One shining moment You knew Doesn't get it. Oh, inside it goes to Johnson. He gets the shot. Good nice. power move inside by Johnson. Very nice. Ties it up four to four. Red Hawk ball in, inbound to Riley. To Wagner. Wagner pushes it ahead to Mitch Dewar. Dewar is going to go in and take the shot. Got he it. Got it. Riley with a shot. In and out. Oh, in it goes. Nice shot by Riley Bambinick. Picks up two, 18-9 our score now. Kicks it back out to Bambinick. Over to Lara. Cross court, it comes to Lakey. He'll take the shot. Got it. It's a two. There's another man with some numbers. Now six of the GET players scoring.
saw this GET team really just make mincemeat out of the Logan Rangers. How is West Salem going to be able to defeat this team tonight? Well, they're not going to be able to. Foul there, I think. Wagner now brings it down. 34-17. There's that shot again. <laughs> Gee, Lord, 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 Lord. Holy smoke. 37-17. Excellent ball movement. movement. Shot from Marcus Wynn. Got it. It's a three. The, the Blake Lara's got three. Inside to Lamke, they get it, and he gets the basket. Blake Lara back out to Mitch Doer. He'll take the three. Got it. Uh, they all can shoot, can't they? I guess. You know, Larry, really, when you look at the Cooley Conference, is there anybody that can keep up to GET? I really don't think there is. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. No. I think Westby will have a decent team, Arcadia will, but nobody's going to have a team like this. Yeah, I guess. Johnson with two. If anyone had any doubt about how the Red Hawks would stack up in the Cooley Conference this year, all doubts were removed as the Red Hawks had convincing wins, first at Westby in a home game against Arcadia, where the Red Hawks serve notice that they're back in town. Next up is a non-conference matchup against the Melrose Medoro Mustangs. The hot hand that night belonged to Buckets Wagner, 7 for 7 from the three-point line. But Buckets had help from the Norwegian nightmare, Marcus Wynn, as he added 11 points. And the Redmen handed the Mustangs the thumping, 88 to 34. Next up was another non-conference game as the Red Hawks went wildcat hunting against longtime Darling Conference powerhouse Blair Taylor. Nine different players scored in the convincing win. Back into league play where the Red Hawks squared off against the Onalaska Luther Knights. Again, nine different Red Hawks scoring with the Twin Towers, Chris Johnson and Chandler Lamke combining for 28 points. Against the Viroqua Blackhawks, somebody left the door open as Mitch nails a three. But this night belonged to Chandler Lampke, where his teammates said, Feed the beast! Where they worked the ball inside, leading to Chandler's career high, 13 points. The game might have been dubbed a silent night, but they couldn't stay silent forever as Riley Babinick scores a career high 33 points. That point total pushes him over the 1,000 point mark for his career as a Redmond slash Red Hawk. 
This will be Riley's third 30-point game of the season. The Red Hawks found themselves with Lacrosse Center playing in the Pepsi Classic. Here the Red Hawks come up with an impressive win over eventual Big Nine Conference champion in Minnesota State Qualifier, Austin, Minnesota. With Riley Bambanek slashing his way to the basket, and Tim Wagner showed he's as cool as the other side of the pillow, nailing three-pointers. Once again, somebody left the door open as Mitch Dorr nails a three for the final dagger. Next up, the Red Hawks find themselves back on the conference schedule against Luther. Two Red Hawks had career nights. Chris Johnson scoring a career-high 24, and Riley Bambanek scoring a career-high 37 points. Next up, the Red Hawks take their small-town attitude on the road to the big city where they square off with St. Paul Central. Tonight, the Red Hawks were led by Buckets Wagner's 22 points. He connected on six three-pointers. Now the Red Hawks find themselves against the former Cooley Conference rival Holman Vikings, where the Red Hawks had to kick and scratch for everything they got. Mitch Doyle opened things early with two three-pointers to spark the Red Hawks. The annual Cooley Classic found the Red Hawks squared off against the Crescent Lancers. Eight different Red Hawks scored in this game, including three three-pointers by the Norwegian Nightmare, Marcus Wynn. Good defense wins games. Here, Kevin Lakey with the steal and the layup as the Red Hawks defeat Arcadia to all but wrap up the conference title. This night, the Red Hawks were led by Riley Bamanek's 28 points and Chris Johnson's 17. On the road to Black River Falls where the Red Hawks square off with the Tigers. GET opened the game with a 20 to nothing run in the first four minutes. The first quarter, Buckets Wagner had 13 points, ending up with 18 to lead the way for the Red Hawks. This win puts the Red Hawks at 9-0 in the conference and 16-0 on the season. The Red Hawks are on the road again for the Wisconsin-Minnesota border battle at Sun Prairie. The Red Hawks squared off with a team out of the Twin Cities, the Maranatha Christian Academy. Kevin Lakey, three ball from the corner pocket. Blake Lara, three from the wing. And Marcus Wynn, three from the other corner as it's raining threes. Tonight, the Red Hawks combined for nine total three-pointers. Back in the friendly confines of Russ Lund Gymnasium, the Red Hawks flex their muscle for their third convincing win over Mississippi Valley Conference opponents. Tonight, the Red Hawks move to 18-0 on the season. Traveling to Alaska, the Red Hawks hit a bump in the road. In the area's biggest non-conference game of the year, the Hawks came up short. Have you ever had one of those days where everything goes right? This is what happened to the Red Hawks as they completely destroyed Black River Falls. Tonight, the Red Hawks were led with Blake Lars 21 points. Kevin Lakey and Marcus Wynn each contributed 18.